So this is one of the cups from the closet that I'm trying to get finished up and cleaned out. I'm going to put this tattoo on this one. Um, I stupidly set it on a wet rag, so hopefully it'll come off okay. <laughs> it won't stick to the transfer sheet. But when you get these tattoos, I suggest um, trimming them down as tight as you can. I mean, obviously you're going to cut the sticker off. But, or the, you know, the number off. Tell you what design it was. But trim all the way around. Somewhat close. It doesn't have to be like spot on. Um, this cup was sitting in the closet for a very, very long time unfinished. It had only had. Um, I honestly don't even know how I applied the glitter, but it was a coral base coat, um, paint. It was this color spray paint, coral, from Rust-Oleum, with a, I didn't even have an actual cheat glitter at the time, so it was just whatever iridescent kind of glitter I had in a fine cut and a little bit of a... This isn't even a chunky, it was just a little bit bigger of a cut. Um, but I hadn't even actually done a top coat on the glitter yet. So all I did was put a coat on. This is still a little bumpy, but because I'm only keeping the decal in this top spot, it really didn't matter. So that's how this particular cup got to this point. So I'm just going to wrap the tattoo on and get my wet rag over here. And lay it over it. Give it a good press down. take this silicone makeup brush and kind of push out some of the bubbles first before I slide the backer off. Doing the tattoos is kind of like doing a water slide. Just going to slide the backing off. And I prefer to slide it, but I guess in this case it wanted to go up. So I'm just gonna make sure it's pressed down pretty good. And going over the coral kind of dulled the pink a little bit back so it doesn't really stick out like a sore thumb or anything. So I'm going to let that dry on there and I will be back to get a coat of resin over the top. Okay, I am ready to get a coat of resin on this one. So, I'm just going to start drizzling it on. This resin is really thin, so. It's just because it's so super hot in here right now. I'm using the um, KS Resin Liquid Stone. For this so and this may depending on how this covers this last coat of glitter at the bottom of the glitter may get one more coat after this but it'll just be a regular clear coat at that point because I can still feel the glitter quite a bit but I don't want to do heavy heavy layers on this one so because the bottom doesn't get 
um, glittered on this. So what I will probably do is just clean up the bottom of the rim and then give it one more coat and it'll be done. The bottom of these cups had a um, inset rubber gripper that I have been putting back on them. I only had like four of these cups to start with. I think I finished two and I had two that I started and never finished because I started buying other cups from suppliers, not picking them up one at a time at Walmart. So, all right, I'll take these gloves off and give it a quick torch. This is the rubber bottom that goes in this cup. It's got some glitter on it just because I did have it stuck to the cup again after it was glittered, so it picked up a little bit of loose glitter, but I will glue that to the bottom when the cup is completely done and washed. So I'm gonna bring you down. I love the way the glitter shows through those tattoos. It just looks really pretty. So, I'm in the bottom of the mess right now. Like I said, I will clean that up before I do one more coat. But that is it for this one. Thank you.